My mom and my stepdad got together about 15 years ago, so that's when we started going to the auction, and I probably started working there when I was about 13. The auction is located off of Interstate 85, exit 160, and it's beside chicken houses. It's just a, a country setting, everything's sort of like a family ordinated, I guess. It's kind of on the outskirts of Carnesville, so it's just kind of rural, you know, not much chicken houses. Right now, Mondays, the tool auction is the biggest sale. We get there at 2 o'clock and people are there waiting to get in the doors and with their merchandise. And it's just unloading, unloading. It goes on until 6 o'clock when the auction starts. And there's still people arriving at 6 o'clock unloading merchandise. Tuesday nights are antique nights, so that takes a special kind of crowd also. Everybody's looking for something valuable that they can either put in the store or resell or just keep for themselves. And Friday and Saturday nights we'll sell anything, so really you don't know what you're looking for until you get there and see something that you might like. Whenever people come to the auction, they're all from different backgrounds, but whenever they're at the auction, we all come together. My favorite thing about what I do is getting to go around and talk to everybody because everybody is different, and so every time you ask somebody if they want a ticket, you never know what's going to come out of their mouth next. There's a lot of different people that come. You got some people that come and they buy a lot to sell, so they look like they don't have money, but then again, they spend a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars. You got some people that come are just breathing hot air to watch things and be nosy. And then you got some people that just enjoy coming to see, always see something different sold. All kind of people. Just, I don't know, just, you know, rich people and poor people and, you know, nice people and not so nice people. <laughs> it's just a big array. I mean, nurses, doctors, judges, lawyers. Um, Sheriffs, deputies, it's just, you know, all kind of people. The heartbeat of the auction will be Daddy, because he auctions everything off and he keeps everybody together and keeps everybody going. I was natural. I got it from my starting when I was nine years old. It should have been auctioned 36 years. I just started doing it and mm -hmm. it was handed down. My dad was auctioneer and in the future I'm, my son's going to take over. So. I want to be auctioneer because it, it's, it's run through my family. My daddy did it and then my Granddaddy did it and I like doing it, it's fun. There ain't many young auctioneers coming along to take the generation on to the next auction level. So, uh, If you take it and pull up history, they say more stuff in the next 10 years will be sold under auction than it will at anything. The auction has gotten a lot bigger over the years. You know, it used to be just real simple little thing to keep up with and now it's you know, a lot more to it. A lot more buyers, a lot more sellers. It just gets bigger. Where have you been? When I get there, I open the doors, and there'll be some, always somebody aggravating, waiting. We show them where to put their stuff, and then as people come in, I help them unload and put their stuff where it needs to go. We start the sale and then go at it from there to try to get everything sold for the high speed. Once the sale starts, I have to go up there and find out what I'm selling tickets on and then walk around and ask everybody if they want one. And then after that, I have to wait for Daddy to tell me it's okay to give it away. Uh, the hardest thing is keeping up with Mark because he really goes fast. Well, if they pass out something, somebody will get one and then they'll change their mind they want two and then they'll change their mind they want six you know so it just you have to keep keep up with it when people get ready to leave I take their money and then when people get ready to leave the sale I pay them after the sales over I have to help clean up everything
Option is special to me because I get to work with my family and my kids get to grow up around the environment of Nails Creek Option. The kids have grown up there. They all have jobs there. It's, it's, that makes it special. Uh, if you've never been, it's just a, this is an opportunity to come and see different stuff every night. You get to sit down and do your shopping. So. I'd say somebody that hasn't ever been should just come in and sit and watch, you know, and sort of see what goes on, you know, before they, you know, actually get a number and start bidding because they, a lot of people don't understand it when they first come in. Some people can't understand Mark because he goes so fast, but if they sit and just listen and get in the rhythm with it, you know, you can sort of understand it then. A lot of people that come and haven't came before, they they see how fast we sell stuff and they're kind of amazed by it. And then if they see something they like, they, they're surprised they can get it at that price because it's so high at other places. What makes my job unique is that I get to spend all of my time with my family. We're not working in an, an office somewhere and we, we get to spend time with other people as well. We get to interact with everybody and it's pretty interesting. We're a close family because we all work together and play together. We live day to day and we look for the next sale to keep us going. So This is how we roll.